Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today, as many suggested, we are going to be looking at Saul Goodman, the new legendary epic extreme demon rated, by the way, I think. So I've heard. Anyway, we're going to be doing a full review, in-depth review on the level today. Um, anyway, let's just get started. I got permission to use this clip from, well, what's his his name here yeah yeah I remember his name now uh, FNM04 I got the his permission to use this clip thank you very much for that by the way anyways we're just gonna be going through kinda like my Acheron video and I'm just gonna be giving my thoughts on this thing uh, overall it, I don't mind the level actually I'll, you know some people might have thought that it wouldn't have been my favorite level because it does look uh, fairly generic in terms of decoration. Nothing like too terribly stands out. Uh, but it is it is an interesting level to me because of how generic it looks and the name and the combination of all of that. So you have a level called Saul Goodman and then literally actually has nothing to do with Saul Goodman. Okay, I get that this is a joke level, by the way. And we're going to be keeping that in mind on our review here. But... Uh, I do appreciate how little this has to do with Saul Goodman. The only thing, actually, that this has to do with Saul Goodman is the text that says Saul Goodman at the beginning and uh, this thing that says Better Call Saul right before the drop. The song, the vibe, nothing even relates at all, which I love. I think it makes the joke level even more funny. And just how intense the level is as far as like neon lights and the dubstep song. I just I love it so much. But anyways, the level is a lot to take in. When I first saw this thing, I was like, okay, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's just like just a barrage of color and movement. It's like you're it's like you're at a some kind of night rave and one thing that does stand out to me first off is the music sync. So like uh, there's lots of impactful moments that, you know, that very well sync to the music. And it's, it's strong, confident music sync, which I like. I always like that in a level. But just, just like coming up right here. I mean, it works. I think it works really well. It's hard to break this level into chunks because of how extraordinarily intense it is. I'm watching this on full screen right now, and it is actually killing my eyes. This I don't know how you spend a lot of time trying to beat this. And that's another thing. A level that looks like this should not be this hard. And I think that's another thing that makes me appreciate the level even more. Um, the verifier of this level, what's his name? Yeah, I think his name is Jory, or however you pronounce his name. Uh, I mean, that's some real dedication to, to, to Saul Goodman, and I really do appreciate the effort. Um, obviously, uh, you know, moments like this, it's, it's a joke level. I like it. And it does have predecessor level, which I'm not too, uh, in depth on the lore behind. There's like Jesse Pinkman, uh, Gustavo Fring, and, um, and of course, Walter White, which I believe is a, like a top 26, what, uh, I don't even know, uh, extreme demon it is really cool how the gameplay does look when you're like looking at it. I do appreciate like this ship part here and how like well the gameplay does like flow into each other. And I think it's executed really well here. But like I said, generally I like when I'm playing levels myself, I don't like it when there's so many moving objects on the screen. And that would be like one complaint I have at the level is just how many moving objects there are on the screen here. Like, every single part is moving. Uh, like, especially in this part back here. Like, in the first, the first drop here. Everything is moving, and it's, it's too much to look at. You can't, there's no defined lines in the level. And that's one thing that's not my favorite about the level. And also, there's no parts that, like... Okay, it, the whole th level sticks out, and I like it when different parts stick out of the level, and I think that's something um, that that is not very... Like, nothing really catches my eye here unless like I slow it down, you know what I'm saying? 
But I, once again, I do understand this is joke level, and it, joke levels tend to be a little more messy, and I'm okay with that. But like this part, you know, you got there's there's just too much going on. Like the background's crazy, and the colors here are crazy, and there's just there's so much happening. But yeah, I would say the the main thing that this level has going for it is just the irony. I mean, it is it does make me laugh pretty hard. <laughs> the absolutely just no. Uh, no holding back has nothing to do with Saul Goodman. It's great. And that's how all the series is. And it's just Saul Goodman just to be called Saul Goodman. Like I said, I don't know the lore behind these levels. Maybe y'all can let me know in the comments of, of like more about the series and how it's developed over the years. But once again, shout out to the Verifier. I mean, this is, this is some true dedication to get through this. This looks absurdly frustrating to play and i i don't know uh like that part there and and just all of it generally i would think that a level that's definitely like more clean like i feel like this would be buggy y'all can correct me if i'm wrong but like there's just it is such fast gameplay and moving objects i cannot see how this would be smooth to play but once y'all y'all just fire flame me in the comments right now if if i'm wrong and this is like really fun to play i like i said i've not done the proper research on this also i have i get the feeling that as the level goes on it kind of descends more to madness like this part uh like there's just uh like like the take my children here i haven't even noticed that before lots of just just random stuff it's, it's like a slow descent into madness here and to where the color scheme just like almost barely works Overall, it's an experience, guys. It's an experience. And, you know, whether it's a good experience or not, that's up for you to decide. But it is an interesting one. On my extremely accurate, reliable at rating scale, I'm going to rate this uh, a 6.5 out of 10, which is, it's still good, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's just not my cup of tea, if you will. And, um, and... What what knocks off some points is is just the like some parts are clean like this part right here, look at like this this ship part I, I kind of like it like the wave and and everything how it looks the music sings on point like this part that looks cool like, I really like how that goes with the atmosphere of the music there like the long drones that ship works really well. So yeah, it's getting a 6.5 because some parts do look cool, and overall, a lot of the it, it it flows really well. But and also the irony, it bumps up the score quite a bit. Uh, but then the some of the the messy parts, <clears throat> and just the the parts where I have no clue what's going on, and the gameplay doesn't look very satisfying at all. That's what brings down the score to 6.5, and. And that's okay, okay? It's a, it's it's very good for a joke level. And this picture completely represents how my eyes and brain feel after watching this level for the last 15 minutes recording this video. But hope you did enjoy. Uh, that's about all I have to say for this. Hope I don't even know if this is going to be a video uh, at this point. But anyways, see you guys.